Average people are making thousands of dollars every single day without any hustle. But game developers, they are set to make even millions of dollars just by applying their basic game development knowledge. Here's how. We all saw and witnessed the big boom in crypto. First there was Bitcoin, then there was Ethereum, then the other day was Shiba, you know, just crazy all over the place. We also saw a boom in NFTs. We saw those little weird crypto punks selling for millions of dollars and I'm still wondering how, yeah, I know, you and me both. And we also saw that weird artist Beeple dude selling his weird art for 69 million. 69 million, let that sink in. And if you were paying really close attention, you also noticed another boom in the crypto space, which is crypto gaming. And that is the reason why I think that game developers have the biggest advantage in this crazy crypto world that we're living right now. And that is why I also think that game developers are the ones who are going to make the most money out of this. And I'm going to tell you right now how. But before that, my name is Fah here. I've been, you know, creating games for the past uh, gazillion years. No, just eight years, <laughs> but that's a lot. And subscribe if you want to learn more more about game development and all the, you know, crypto gaming and gaming stuff in general because we're about to hit 100k subscribers. Thank you for that. So what is a crypto game? Well, the idea behind a crypto game is very simple. Instead of you paying to buy the game, you know, fueling the Steam money, giving money to Gabe Newell, or pouring your money infinitely in a free-to-play game just to progress from level 1 to level 1.1 in 3 years, the crypto game would actually pay you to play it with incentives built into the game that will reward your time and often, often also a small stake in the company that made the game. But before you can understand fully what is a crypto game, you first need to understand what are NFTs and what are blockchain, what is a blockchain. And I'm going to explain to you right now like I would have explained it to a five-year-old. And I'm not saying this to insult you, but if I manage to explain something to a five-year-old, then you will also be able to understand me. If I cannot manage to explain that to a five-year-old, then, you know, uh, 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 you will not understand as well. So, you know, I, I feel ashamed, okay? A blockchain is a database shared across a network of computers that are being constantly checked, which means it cannot be hacked and it cannot be stolen. That means when you tie something to a blockchain, it will ensure it's an original. It's a unique piece that cannot be stolen or changed by any means. Let's say, for example, you, me, and all people around the internet, we can, you know, have Mona Lisa on our profile pictures, but only Da Vinci is the one who signed that Mona Lisa on a blockchain. That means that everybody can right-click and save an image, but only one person has the blockchain address to that item to prove it's an original. So, you and me, we cannot do that. And this is where NFTs come into place. And this is where NFTs can make you and me a lot of money because an NFT, which is short for a non-fungible token, is an asset that is connected or tied to a blockchain. So when it comes to art, people are now selling art as NFTs. But when it comes to crypto gaming, an NFT can be a rare skin in the game, a property in a game, let's say a house in Grand Theft Auto, or it can be any game item. So let's say, for example, you're playing a game and there is a rare sword that is really hard to obtain. That sword can be chained to a blockchain and it will become an NFT, which means there, there is only one sword in the game of that type. So if you manage to get it, you level up to it, or you buy it early on in the game, you will be able to sell it for, you know, insane amount of money. Why am I telling you all of this? Well, because there is a difference between two people who go on a fishing trip together. One is an expert fisherman and the other one only sells fish. He doesn't know how to fish, but he thought if he goes and fishes himself, he will earn more money because that will cut out the middleman, but he doesn't know where to find good fish. The other guy who is an expert, he knows where to find good fish, he will outscale him and take over his business. The metaphor here is that a lot of people are jumping into NFT games or crypto games that are a complete bullshit. More often than not, they are ripoffs and unfinished projects from the Unity Asset Store. And once they get some buzz online, people start talking, people start investing, they run away with the money because a lot of the time that is a scam and other times they cannot finish the game because they don't have the capacity and they don't have the knowledge to do so. 
This is where you, the expert fisherman, comes into place because you and me, we as game developers, we are able to spot and differentiate between a good project and a basic bullshit ripoff. So we will be able to see a project that has a good company behind it, good coders, designers, managers, and so on. And we will be able to see a game that is set to strive and succeed as opposed to normal people who are not able to do this because they only follow the voice of influencers. This is where you and me will have a huge advantage over normal people in the crypto gaming space. For example, look at this project. This is a post-apocalyptic game which is free to play plus play to earn sandbox survival game with a blockchain based economy. It's a third person online RPG with a huge cyberpunk map on which you can do legal and illegal missions with high risk rewards. You can make your own fields and wastelands. You can even customize your cars, weapons, and characters with in-game currency. You are able to follow your assets in the game even when you are not on your computer. You can get notifications on your phone when a price for one of your game skins jumps or if someone attacks your base and so on. The game is on Solana blockchain and you can find it on Steam. This game got a reward for the best crypto game in 2019 and it is made in Unreal Engine, which by the way, I teach on this channel and in my Game Development Academy, link in the description. And the game has already 153,000 players worldwide. It's game like this that you and me can spot early on and see the potential the game has. And we can see that this game is set to strive because how good it is structured. One thing that I noticed about this game, what they did really well is they balanced the economy with the gameplay, which basically forces you to play the game more, to engage with the game more. And in return, you get real money for the reward, which you can use in the game or you can cash out, which is a really good incentive to play the game. On the other hand, we have games like this that you can see on Twitter, some random guy telling that he has a project and he will whitelist you to buy coins of that game if you share it, so if you create buzz about it. But if you scroll down, you will see that this is City Builder Urban, which is an asset on the Unity Asset Store. And he says, and that's how easy it is to rip off crypto investors and make 20 million in easy, I don't know what this is, ICO, ice cold blood money. Anyways, <laughs> but you get the point. The whole philosophy of this video is even though it is connected to cryptocurrencies, we as game developers have a huge chance to spot a very good investment early on because we can see the difference between a good and a bad project. A lot of people who have no idea about game development are making millions of dollars right now at this moment off of this. And even the fact that this is the future, a lot more money is there to be made in this field and you and me, we can be a part of it. Anyways, if you want to learn how to make games, I have my Game Dev Academy link will be down below in the description. Subscribe because we are almost at 100,000 subscribers, which is, you know, really cool. And uh, I will see you guys in the next video. That is shared across a network of computers that are being... That are being... <laughs>